In this example problem, we'll calculate the boiling point of methanol using the clausius clapeyron equation. Our problem reads, the normal boiling point of methanol is 64.7 degrees Celsius. Calculate the boiling point of methanol at an elevation of 4,000 meters above sea level where the pressure is 478 millimeters of mercury. The heat of vaporization for methanol is 35.3 kilojoules per mole. To solve this problem, we'll use the clausius clapeyron equation. First, let's relate the information we're given in the problem to the different variables in the clausius clapeyron equation. We're given the normal boiling point of methanol to be 64.7 degrees Celsius. And we know boiling point is defined as the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid equals the external pressure. And the normal boiling point is when the external pressure is one atmosphere, or 760 millimeters of mercury. So we'll define T1 as our normal boiling point, and we'll convert this to Kelvin. 64.7 degrees Celsius is 337.7 Kelvin. And we'll use a vapor pressure at T1 of 760 millimeters of mercury, which is one atmosphere. So if we want to find the boiling point when the external pressure is 478 millimeters of mercury, we'll just solve for T2 in this equation. We're given the heat of vaporization, and we're given it in units of kilojoules per mole. We'll need to convert these units to joules per mole because of the units in the ideal gas law constant, R. In this equation, R is 8.3145 joules per Kelvin mole. This is also why we had to convert our degrees Celsius to Kelvin. Now, let's plug all of our variables into our equation and solve for T2. If we plug what's on the left side of the equation into our calculators, the natural log of 760 divided by 478, we'll get 0 0.4637. And we can divide 35,300 by 8.3145 on the right side of the equation, and we'll get 4,246 Kelvin. We can also, on the right side of the equation, divide 1 by 337.7 Kelvin, and we'll get 0 0.002961 Kelvin to the negative first. Next, we can distribute the 4,246 on the right side of the equation. Then, we'll add 12.57 to both sides. And then finally, we'll multiply both sides by T2 and divide by 13.036. And T2 equals 4246 Kelvin divided by 13.036, which is 325.7 Kelvin. We can convert this number back to degrees Celsius, and it's 52.7 degrees Celsius.